Wings. Wings are very important. And they look very cool. So I thought today I'd like to talk and show you on how to specifically design wings for a small ship. Activate gamer mode. Okay, so here we are in Space Engineers. Now I have this very, very basic model of just kind of a very generic ship. So it's got a lot of thrust, uh, a lot of forward thrust. So this is definitely some sort of strike fighters as you know, it has that a lot of thrust to move it forward to attack ships and you know, quickly get in and out of any situation it comes into. Um, as you can see, it's all basically white. There is nothing to it, no guns. And as you will see to the right, um, I have three versions of, what the fuck is? Sorry about that. And as you can see to the right, I have three variations of that ship. So I went with three different kinds of colors. I have this nice bright orange, uh, this green, and then our, uh, well, chalk uh, blue, purple-ish. I love it, it's my favorite color looks so good now this isn't really to uh show off or showcase these individual ships and they were very quick i just made them uh you know fairly quickly uh just to give you a little idea of what you can do and how you can design wings with hinges as we know space engineers doesn't have a lot of uh angled blocks uh for example they have the classic 45 degree and then this uh kind of like ramp block which i believe is like 30 uh 30 degrees you know with them together so you have you know you only have those two options now with hinges you can actually make wings um a little more unique you know technically you can make this orange ship right here uh without the hinge but i think the hinge kind of gives it a little uh cooler feel you could also have these armor blocks on the tops in a specific pattern to kind of make cool designs and i think it turns out now just to give you an idea before i showcase all of them you'll notice that there's still kind of some white on it that's all this original ship so anything that's white on these ships is actually uh this original ship uh, except for maybe these little pieces here and then on the trunk ship there's uh you know the white here and the white guns just to you know make sure uh, give it a little more detail a little more appealing so with this first ship i decided to make some sort of uh fighter like craft with uh, some reverse wings but uh when i made these reversed wings you can see here um, it seemed a little bare and empty on the back, this engine part. So, as you can imagine, um, this, this ship or whatever, I literally just stuck these wings on. So, it looked a little weird because the wings kind of just came out like this. And the, the cab was really just kind of tucked in right here. And it looked a little strange. So, I thought, you know what, I'll extend the cab, add a, a large reactor in the middle, just to give it a little more power. And... Um, have that kind of long fuselage aesthetic as most fighter jets we have on earth and like i was saying before uh this part was kind of barren on the back it was just kind of flat so i thought you know what we'll have like little fins or like almost like little wings off the back and i just mirrored it on the bottom so that it didn't get in the way of these thrusters and i have this nice kind of deep orangey red color for these thrusters and i think it really works well with this orange color and then on the back we just added a little more armor around the large thrusters and these uh mirrored top and bottom almost like tail fins you could say and then on the bottom we have these little landing gear pegs and i am so happy that the end these these are so cool you can add so many different kinds of uh shapes to your ship without even making it look like it has landing gear you know it, you can honestly just say oh those are just another kind of wing but you could theoretically land on a planet or a platform or whatever now you may be wondering oh if i have an angled wing then i can't angle like weapons on it well if you take rotors you can kind of see it right here right in there there are rotors on each of these segments with this amazing new merge block to add uh forward pointing 
uh, bomblets or or missiles. You could even make, uh, you know, missiles with timer blocks. So you could have like a small battery with an ion thruster, a warhead, and some sort of timer block to activate it all and then send it flying. But uh, for just uh, simplicity, this is just uh, little bombs. And as you can see, if I jump in here, I can fly forward and then just turn them all off and they go flying out. And then it has its classic, its classic weapon, the Vulcan Cannon, just to give it a, some uh, menacing firepower to it. Not super maneuverable, and if you notice, when I bank left and right, or if I kind of try and roll, it's really slow, and that's just because of, uh, if you share the inertia on uh, the wings or on your hinges, it will do that, but if you turn it off, it will become a little shaky, but you should be able to turn left and right much more quickly. So if the shaking kind of bothers you, that's what you can do to fix it. Now that's a stationary hinge idea. So that's where your hinge doesn't move or anything. You can't interact with your hinge and that's just it. Now on this one, it's a little more uh, complex is what I wanted to do with these hinges. And not too complex, but it's almost like an X-Wing design. So you have your attack foils kind of down and then you press your hinge button and then they come out in this X formation. And if you notice, I have a whole bunch of these random cargo containers on these Gatling turrets. And what that does is I've angled it to one degree inwards. So when you shoot the Gatling guns, you it's hard, it's hard to see but all the Gatling turrets actually shoot inwards rather than, you know, just kind of like shooting straight and then you would have to hit a target that's basically as big as yours. So uh, from far away, you could actually like target the ship and uh, actually destroy it. And we also have the classic MK batteries, give it that extra firepower. So, you know, direct targeting to hit ships. And because of these MK batteries are right at the cab, you could take out fighters pretty quickly. I like this fighter. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the rolling on it, again, because of the hinges. Actually, I think I just need to add a little more gyros and it should be able to fly a little better. But I mean, in terms of a cool looking ship, I think this looks pretty good. Now, this last ship, I love, I love, 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 love the idea of making asymmetrical ships just maybe not everything but just to have one or two maybe in your fleet because it really adds just like so much variety now this is still the same model and it still has the same engine pattern but as you can see i just have these little void areas where the thrusters will ignite and not interact with the wing and i could if i really wanted to i could put some of those new armor blocks and just kind of cover up that area so you couldn't see into there so uh, i might I actually may do that later but it it honestly i think it looks cool it makes it like a little lighter it seems out of this ship you know you know this excess area you know just to get rid of all or too much weight to the ship i could also do it over here but i kind of like this wing all full and this wing design also has a very cool feature of just opening up and now it has kind of like a B-wing uh, feel to it. If I actually like turn it this way, and if the cockpit turned, it would like almost be exactly what a B-wing is. But uh, even though the cockpit doesn't turn, it still looks super cool, and it flies decently well. As you can tell, that we're uh, running out of a lot of power. It's sucking a lot of power, but that's okay. And it's only, it smokes like that. It's not hitting anything, but just because of the hinges, um, thrusters may kind of like rub up against it and then just create a little bit of smoke, but nothing's going to harm your ship. And this is really agile. This is such an agile ship. Then we have our classic dual Gatling guns. And it is in the middle of the wing. The one thing I should have put is maybe have these guns right where the cab is. So it's a little more direct when I shoot. But then the best part is this modded gun. And what it does is it shoots. Um, it's a flechette launcher and it just shoots missiles. But they just kind of go anywhere and then they track a target. So if I shoot it. You'll see it just kind of flies up and away. 
But if I was actually near a target, it, this missile would lock onto that target and blow it up. Now that you can see how you can create different kinds of wings and different styles of wings, you can experiment with your own ideas. Obviously, there are tons of different ways that you can, you know, add cool fins. Maybe have six fins like this, or maybe have two like this and then have an angled wing in the middle so it looks like a, an ARC-170 from Star Wars. Make a B-wing or whatever and have like these wings that fold up or maybe have like a Lambda-class shuttle and have the giant wings that fold uh, up and then down to the side or, or down to the side when it flies and then up when it has to land. Folding wings can be useful. Uh, if you know how to use them correctly, but honestly, for the most part, it just makes your ship look a little cooler, a little more unique and um, diverse compared to other ships. The one thing that you just have to remind yourself when building with uh, wings and parts that like move down is uh, just be aware of where your thrusters are. For example, I have thrusters pointing up right here. So what I had to do is cut out areas of the wing that fold down. So the thrusters don't actually damage it. Yes, you could load a world with no thruster damage, but who does that? So what I think I'm going to do right now is just kind of actually show you and like demonstrate on how to build with hinged wings. So what I like to do is use, don't turn on a mirror just so that you can see where this little two tick is. Uh, you can kind of see it on the hinge and it's only on one side and that I believe represents the negative. So when you're adjusting your hinge, uh, if you do 45 degrees to the negative, it will be pointing 45 degrees to uh, towards the little tooth ticks or whatever. So we place it like that and then we place another one on the other side like that. Now that they're both pointing forward, so when we go in and edit these hinges, if we turn them on, now they both rotate the exact same way. If you mirrored it, it would have flipped it, so that means you would have to make sure that you would, you know, reverse one and then group them together and then reverse again. This is just easier because now I can adjust them to the, at the exact same time. So we'll do something simple maybe just have it like come in at a steep 60 degree angle and then it can kind of and then maybe it just kind of folds all the way back so we'll start with this have the wing come out like that And then you can group the wings together. So you just kind of group them, say, you know, wang. And then put it in your toolbar with groups. Click reverse. And now you can reverse your wings to uh, one position. Ooh. Now you can reverse your wings to one position and then reverse them back out. And as you can see, they are lopsided. I did not realize that, but... Uh, just make sure when you turn on and off your mirror, you know exactly where you're putting your hinges or something like this may happen. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Chalk Armory. We are growing strong every day. And um, I didn't mention this in the last video, but thank you all so much for those comments and words of wisdom for me. As I said, it is a very stressful time in my life right now, and I do still want to make content. And I really do hope you check out some of my other content that I have on my channel. They're a little more funny, less serious, and, you know, I hope my personality is somewhat entertaining to you all. Oh, break the what? Oh, fuck, oh. on the roof, on the roof, on the roof! Shot me through the wall. No! I love you all so much. You guys are what makes this channel amazing, and uh, I couldn't be here without you, so... Uh, Thank you. But that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next. As always, stay thick, stay lovely, but most importantly, stay chonk. Your Lord Chonkers himself, out. <laughs>